<laughs> Guys, you're having way too much fun over there. What are you doing? Come, Come over, over here. here. Okay. What, what do you think of that guy? Oh, he's hot. He's really hot, too. Who is that girl, even? I don't know. We don't even really know the first years, do we? No. Maybe we should go meet them. Yeah, let's go. I think they're terrible role models, but I think they have really good fashion taste, so I feel really split about this issue. <laughs> Not nice people. I don't think they're role models at all. I think, I mean, they're just entertainment, and I hope no one. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess, I guess let me give them props where it's due. Um, I think they're hardworking. Um, so, but as role models, no. Role model to do what? <laughs> I've never met them. I wouldn't be able to say. I don't really, I can't really differentiate them. I don't know. Uh, they all seem like kind of one big butt. Um, <laughs> Is one of them named Kim? He is a very unique man who has an undeniable sensuality about him. He's a clown. <laughs> I don't know. He's just like very masculine, built. Prototype of Adonis for today's young, sexy man. He's a guy who I think you could talk to. And even though he's so devastatingly handsome that you probably shouldn't be able to talk to him, he'd just be so cool that you'd like forget about it in a second. He looks like a man. Well, before he didn't, but now he does. Like, before he looked too young and childish, but now he looks like a man because, I don't know, he has a man sweat. He's so, he's like the oldest person that I think is sexy. I think that's cool. He's always like, he's looking pretty, pretty smoldering. <laughs> he has this sort of like understated confidence, I guess. Mm -hmm. That I think would be attractive to a lot of people. Um, why am I talking about this? Uh, absolutely not. No, gosh, no. No, I think if you want to be a salacious woman who um, attracts a lot of NBA players and makes a lot of money easily with your body parts, then yes, a good role model. I'm not gonna lie to you, he's a little little too doe-eyed for me. I like a guy who uh, like can hang out in the woods, chop some wood together. Like nobody, I, okay, he's definitely an asshole, but I don't know if I care. She's fake <laughs> all around. <laughs> Okay, from her personality to her butt to her boobs. I think it's fine, but she's still an asshole. Yeah. Alicia Liu, Sia, Oyinka. Uh, I would say Indu and Jerry. Erica, Shane, Carl, Daniel, and Cassandra and Allegra. So, pediatric, pediatric endocrinologist. So, pediatric endocrinologist. Oh, pediatric endocrinology. Pediatric endocrinologist. Pediatric endocrinologist. So, pediatric endocrinologist. A, a pediatric endocrinologist. A pediatric endocrinologist. A lot of people with ambiguous genitalia. Endocrinologist. That's probably the, mm -hmm. the broader term for that kind of doctor. Adult endocrinology. Ego Friday night for Twerk Friday, and then drag shows at Dark Lady Saturday night. Can't miss those. Hot Club. I don't know if it's a real club. Um, I've checked out Hot Club, which is not what it sounds like. Someone told me they were like, you know, go to Hot Club, and uh, I was like, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not trying to get turned out. I, <laughs> you know, hot Club? Like, what, what is that? Like, is that a, something I don't want to go to? Viva. Definitely the hottest spot around. Oh my god, Viva's a riot. Who is that girl dancing on that table? Oh, she's paid to do that. That makes no sense at all. Do you have chills? Do you have a fever? Uh, are you blind? Do you have um, mucus 
Because how is your endocrine feeling today? Do you uh, get spontaneous erections? How many pillows do you sleep on? Nothing like asking a woman who's 94 years old like how many sexual partners she's had. Well, they think everything's uncomfortable with me because I look like I'm 13, so they're still like trying to get over the fact that they're dealing with a 13-year-old as the person asking them questions. Um, to go through all of them in my head. We have Eileen. Ali, Chris, um, Shamar, Quatrell, um, Marcos, Joey, Michael. Is there Michael? Michael. <coughs> I don't know his name. Um, okay, Alicia, Nicole, Nicole, Christy, Hindu, yeah. Um. Rohan, Carlos, Shane, Andy, yeah, a lot of boys. My goodness, Ellen, Beth, Megan, um, Naisha. Nisha. Gupuso, uh, Solomon, uh, uh, Professor Del Ritter. There's so many more. Um, Matthew Powell. Christy. Christina. Dr. Rainey. <laughs> I think that's it, actually. Probably how many partners they've had in their lifetime, especially for the ALF patients. Do, do you have problems with your sexual functioning? Do you have trouble lubricating? Usually, how many sexual partners have you had in your lifetime? Um, they're usually kind of like, why, why? If you have any like trouble with like, erectile dysfunction or you have trouble orgasming. Um, do you have any problems maintaining an erection? The, do you ever get spontaneous erections and are they normal? Uh, if you have blood in your stool, is the blood around your stool? Is the blood inside your stool? <laughs> is the, um, how many times do you have bowel movements? Uh, do you have constipation or like diarrhea? What's the consistency, the fluidity? Is it yellow or the colors? Um, all types of colors. <laughs> Probably should be more awkward to ask someone about lubrication, but for some reason it just isn't. On the third floor, there's a like examination room, so that's my favorite floor. Maybe some of those benches and are like the exam tables on the third floor. Uh, room 170. That's where class is, and so I just linger. Be in the red room conference rooms in the morning, um, and then those small breakout rooms in the evenings. Okay. Yeah, definitely uh, academies, mostly because it's loud enough in here that <laughs> you can actually like move pretty quickly. Uh, Luba's office, it's really good. Twenty pounds? Oh, I don't know. 12 pounds? Um, I don't know. 3 pounds? <laughs> 180 or so. Oof. 2 or 3 pounds. Oh, I don't... Mm. 20 pounds? Probably 170. I had a wedgie earlier. I like to be asked what else. <laughs> you know? Like, I feel like he, get, he really like wants to know what else I want. I love Beyonce. She's great. Her music is wonderful. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> I want a really fat baby, so it would weigh 50 pounds. Um, neck tattoos are hot. 15%. That's my working rate. I think that was so representative of who I am. I, uh, I hope this video is funny. And if it's at my expense, I accept that. That's my own fault. <laughs>